We started a VOIP back in 2003, when internet was going to become a dominant factor in the future. And technically speaking, what we have today is the vision we had back in 2003 was a company which was local in Vancouver called Digifonica. And the vision we had, every time you make a call today, it has to go through the main no the node, if you was TELUS or if you was AT&T. The node will decide whether Emil Malak on the other side is on internet, so he will send it free. If he's not, he will send it through the PSTN and charge you on your minute package. So every call, every message goes through the same. That's it. We started the patents registration back in 2006. It takes about six, seven years to get a patent in the States and Canada. And we, it's not a matter of us suing. I have no option. We put Apple, AT&T and Verizon on, we wrote to them two years ago, said we have these patents. We believe you are using some of them. Please, can we give you a license? Or if you want, you can buy us. Of course, we're a small company. Nobody listened. So do I just keep quiet and disappear in oblivion or take action to protect my shareholders. So I took action. We had 25 en engineers in Vancouver in Metro Town developing that between 2004 to 2006. We developed the patent, we built the node, and once we had it operational, we then patented in 2006. We have looked at all the award, damage award by the Court of Appeal in the States. We looked at 10 cases, and we came up between Apple, Verizon, AT&T, around just over 7 billion and we're about 80% below the court of award damages.